Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we got something a little bit different. This is not an unboxing. In fact, this is something I'm going to keep boxed. But we're going to do a review on it anyways because you guys should be able to see it in case you've either never heard of it, never seen it, or quite frankly, may not be a collector of these particular things, but would like to see it anyways rather than just seeing photos online. So what we're going to be going over today uh, are a couple of my McFarlane uh, DC Multiverse, I mean, I guess you can call them chases, uh, alternate versions of figures, repaints, whatever you want to dub it. McFarlane's notorious for all of those things. However, uh, they're still very cool figures, and they're ones I'm planning on keeping uh, men on cards, so therefore I've got them in protectors and the whole nine. So I'm going to show you the figure, look at the boxes. I'm just going to do a quick go over with them. Uh, just so you can guys to see uh, what they are and also if they're exclusive to anywhere in particular I may be able to divulge that information as well. So first off uh, we have got the DC Multiverse Gold uh, Hellbat Batman. Uh, this one I've only found at Targets. Uh, it may be a Target exclusive only. Hard to say. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the shell. Also, side note, if you like how these are uh, displayed inside of these clamshells. Uh, they're not fitted for these figures. However, uh, for me, I think they work very well for them. Uh, and these particular clamshells you can actually find at toyshield.com. And these in particular are the size called Bat 2. So look for that. So if you do want to keep some of McFarlane stuff carded, uh, these clamshells work great for them. They are two pieces. They don't have hinges at the bottom, so you don't have to worry about crinkling or anything like that. So let's go ahead and take him out. So there's the figure inside the box. Beautiful colors. I love the red and black, uh, the red and gold scheme. It really pops. I do have the standard edition of this, which is black and gold, uh, which I mean, black armor, gold trim where the red is on this one. Uh, on the side of the package, it says Batman, uh, Hellbat Gold Edition. Maybe we'll see the letters right there. Hopefully, possibly, maybe. Okay, so uh, this one, like I said, I believe it is a Target exclusive. I could be wrong. Something I'm noticing on this one too, which I'm really enjoying, is uh, something we've discussed prior is uh, the issues with them not having action poses of the figures on the back of the box. Uh, the original Hellbat did not have an action pose of the figure on the back. Instead, it had a comic image. So it looks like starting with possibly this figure, um, they maybe have switched over completely to doing action poses because the uh, Batman, or I'm sorry, not, not Batman, the uh, Batman Earth 1 and Superman 2 pack had action poses both on the cards as well as on the back of the packages. And it looks like this one, the Gorilla Grodd and the Flash from Injustice. Uh, are all utilizing action shots of the figures rather than comic covers. So hopefully McFarlane has finally pulled the nose up in that regard. But this figure is very cool. I love the color scheme. And um, it doesn't say gold edition or gold label, which I thought was kind of weird. I would think that if we're going to go with a gold version of the figure, it would just be gold label, period. Uh, however, they did not with this one. It's just called Hellback Gold Edition. So who knows? But otherwise, very cool figure. One of the chases, uh, or I consider it a chase. Uh, now, granted, obviously, chases are pretty much in up to interpretation depending on the figure. Uh, some figures like Funko Pops, um, AEW figures, things like that, if there is a chase version, you know, they'll have a sticker on there that says chase version or rare edition or something like that. But in my opinion, since this is a variation and I haven't seen very many of these around, um, I'm going to call it a chase and we'll just stick with that. So, that was the Gold Hellbat. Next, we have the Batman Unmasked Thomas Wayne Batman from Flashpoint. I do have the regular one. The bat, This Batman is actually probably my favorite Batman um, that I currently have, outside of maybe the Death uh, Metal Batman, because he's on the motorcycle, and what's cooler than that? But the Flashpoint Batman design, to me, is top-notch. I really love it. The figure itself is great. There's wonderful detail to it. This one, like you see the Thomas Wayne face right there without the cowl. Very cool. On the bat, on the side, it even says Batman Unmasked. Now, this particular figure, um, I found this one at a Target. However, during my excursion yesterday, I did see another one in the wild at a Walmart. So, I do not believe that this one is, is exclusive to one store. You can obviously also find it online. Uh, but... Finding it in general, though, is still somewhat difficult. 
So, um, if you had to pick between this one and the regular one, I'd still go with the regular one because it does have the cowl and the red eyes and it just pops more. However, this one being unmasked is very cool. It's a nice variation. I really dig it. Um, and just, I don't know, having that Thomas Wayne head on there uh, really makes it stand out. Uh, on the back here, comic image rather than the action image of the figure. I think this may have been one of the last ones they did with the comic image uh, since the Hellbat had uh, the actual action shot of the figure. So, very cool. Batman Unmasked DC Multiverse chase version. Again, it may not be a chase to some people. To me, it's a variation. Hard to find, therefore, I'd consider it a chase. So, we'll leave it at that. And by all means, if you want to maybe, I wouldn't say argue the point on whether it's a chase or not, uh, but if you would like to discuss it, say, hey, you know, this is my viewpoint on it, I would love feedback. By all means, I will be more than happy to discuss. Uh, classifications of figures or anything like that in the comments or even through a direct message. Uh, I, I love talking about action figures and having discussions like that. Uh, my brother Robert Hall, he um, comes up all the time to visit and we always have discussions about figures and comics and wrestling and things like that and it's always nice to have those convos. So by all means, if you want to have a conversation like that, um, I'm completely open to it. All right, so last but not least, we're going to go with one, the newest chase that I've acquired. This one is, in fact, a gold label, and this is the Flash Earth 52, or as I like to call it, Red Death. This is the Dark Knight's Metal uh, Flash Earth 52 gold label. Actually has the gold label. This one, um, I've, I've been told it's a Walmart exclusive. I've yet to see one in the wild. However... Um, I, I could be wrong. It could be available at Targets as well. Um, but I, I, from what I've been told, this one is in fact a Walmart exclusive. So gold label right there. This is actually the first gold label figure with the gold label on it that I own. Um, like I said, I think the Hellbat should have been a gold label as well, but for some reason they chose not to go that route with it. But it's very cool design. Uh, on the back, the cover art uh, for Red Death. Um, this figure, the original red version, is actually part of a two-pack with a flash. I do have that one currently open and on my display. I do think this one looks incredible with all the gold trim and color on it. Uh, it gives a very reverse flash kind of feel, which is nice. Uh, the card also has the same yellow version of the flash on it too, so at least they did keep consistent. Because that was something I did find uh, to be a little off-putting about the Joker face Nightwing uh, is they kept the artwork from the original Nightwing with it rather than changing it to fit the figure in the package. So hopefully this is also them correcting that tiny little detail. Um, but this one obviously doesn't have an action pose of the figure, so that's a little weird. This one did come out after the Hellback Gold Edition, so uh, I don't know, maybe this got produced beforehand or uh, who, who knows. Uh, that's nitpicking at that point. But yeah, but I definitely love that little gold label sticker there because you see that and you instantly think uh, that's special. So uh, bang up job on, you know, this little thing uh, by McFarlane. Uh, obviously, McFarlane has been notorious for repaints, you know, color schemes, gold versions, etc. Uh, he did that a whole lot with a lot of the earlier spawn lines. So uh, not surprising in the slightest that he's doing it with the DC Multiverse. And I think if there's gold label stuff, or there's gold label stuff with Spawn. I do have one gold label Spawn figure, the Mandarin Spawn. Uh, and then there's some Warhammer 40k figures. I believe he's got gold label editions of those as well. So, this is the other um, chase from, or again, what I'm calling a chase, from my collection that I'm keeping men on card because it's just so freaking cool. Uh, that one out of all three is probably going to be the hardest one for you guys to find out in the wild. So I do wish you all the best of luck. Fortunately, I was able to get mine from a local collector friend uh, who does um, a lot more toy hunting than I am and goes a little further out of, outside of his uh, travel area to find things. So uh, thanks to him for that. Uh, so yeah, uh, gold label flash Earth 52. So guys, that's going to do it for me for today's video. Again, remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on Instagram at Collecting Raj. And of course, like I said earlier, if you want to debate whether these are chases or not, feel free to DM me or leave a comment. I'll be more than happy to respond and we can have a little debate ski. 
So anyways, again, thanks as always, and I'll see you next time.